Let's say you want to make nacho dip. Everyone wants to make nacho dip. But when you heat regular cheese, the fats can melt away from the rest of the cheese solids, leaving you with a pool of oil and a lumpy, stringy mess. Enter processed cheese, of which American cheese is a particular type. This stuff is consistent by design, has a longer shelf life, is usually cheaper than natural cheese, and melts like a dream. But how? What arcane science imbued natural cheese with such unnatural properties? Here in the United States, the FDA has crafted an exhaustively specific legal definition of processed cheese. The short version is that it's a type of food made by pulverizing, heating, and mixing actual cheese of one or more types with an emulsifier into a homogeneous plastic mass. Now, that's plastic as in the physical definition, i.e. a substance easily shaped or molded. Processed cheese isn't made of actual plastic. But it can contain water, salt, artificial color, flavorings, and this stuff. The key to processed cheese's smoothness is the emulsifying agents. An emulsion is a mixture of two liquids that don't usually mix, like oil and water. No matter how hard you stir or shake them together, they'll separate back out. But emulsifiers make the two play nice chemically speaking. That's because they interact with both liquids, grabbing globules of one and suspending them evenly throughout the other. Cheese, and milk for that matter, is made up of fats and fat-soluble substances, plus a solution of water-soluble proteins and minerals. The added emulsifiers keep them blended together even when they're heated. The other optional ingredients are texture and flavor enhancers, preservatives, and cheese-making shortcuts designed to speed the manufacturing process along. But as long as the finished cheese has moisture, fat, and pH levels that closely resemble those of its actual cheese ingredients, the stuff can legally be called pasteurized processed cheese. And if it's made from cheddar, washed curd, Colby, or granular cheese, it can be called American cheese. But you may have noticed some extra words creeping in on labels, dubbing the stuff pasteurized processed cheese food, or spread, or product. Those designations indicate that other ingredients have been put in that reduce the amount of actual cheese in the finished food. All of these creations are required to consist of at least 51% cheese. Is processed cheese delicious science or franken dairy? You be the judge and give us your verdict in the comments. While you're at it, give us a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. And of course, you can always learn more about everything from cheeses to cheaters at HowStuffWorks.com.